These was the acacia groves, which once used to be the Islamic cemetery, was converted by the Somalia government as its main arsenal. For it gave them sufficient coverage against aircraft raids. When the Ethiopian forces took this place, it was full of crates and crates and crates of explosives and ammunition. These crates, for example, contain anti-tank and anti-APC uh, uh, anti-APC arsenals. This Muslim cemetery, which is centuries old, was actually a holy place before it was converted into an arsenal. Sometimes P2 APK, which the Ethiopian government claims had been supplied by the NATO. Along with them are also some Soviet supplier explosives. These are explosives from the Soviet Union, which the Somalia government obtained when she was flirting with Russia in her relations. Now she has ex uh, uh, transferred completely her all armory into the Jidiga region. <laughs> These are anti-vehicle mines. Nearly a one kilometer road stretch was mined and the Ethiopians discovered 748 such mines in a one kilometer stretch area. The Ethiopian forces were really surprised that the retreating Somali forces had not taken away with them these costly crates of ammunition and anti-personnel and anti-tank devices. The cost of this is estimated to be plus several million. And the Ethiopian forces feel that they can equip their army with this very same ammunition. The Ethiopian Air Force attack on this hidden Somali arsenal came on the eve of the Ethiopian forces entry this ancient city of Jijiga. This is one of the vehicles which was bombed by the Ethiopian Air Force prior to its entry into this strategic mountainous city. already started arriving and some of them are even settling in Jijiga. Most of these people had left their homes and, which is understood, many of them were hiding in the bushes, far away bushes, in the surrounding areas. This is one of the trucks arriving the day the town was captured. Heavy equipment left behind by the Somali forces. These tanks, one of them without its artillery, had been found abandoned in what used to be a garage belonging to the Somali forces. And that is a BR-21 multi-rocket launcher, or what is used to be called Stalin organ, with eight launches, which Somalia used in its war against Ethiopia. This is again another Somali tank, Mark 730, camouflage with acacia and other leaves. This was also found in what used to be the Somalia fortress in the outskirts of the Argisa, in the outskirts of Jijiga, uh, near a garage. The Ethiopian troops broke the defense perimeter of the Somali troops at Karamara Pass 
and made their way to the uh, Jijiga town with little resistance on this area, except in the outskirts of the city, where the Chapin troops are now pitching their, pitching their tents. These troops uh, were followed by other troops from another area, bypassing the Karamara Pass, and encircled uh, most of the uh, Somali troops and took to, uh, retreated towards the Togojale and uh, Kabirda, uh, Dagaabur directions. The Air Force also played a very dominant role in ousting the Somalis from this strategic city. That road in the foreground is the road leading from Dijiga to Dagahabur. The road is very dusty because the Ethiopian troops are hotly pursuing the retreating Somalia soldiers. That is Jijiga city. The Ethiopian flag is flying again in Jijiga.